السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته طبعا احنا بنكمل الحلقات اللي احنا بداناها مع السايلنت ساوندز واثق ان انتم استفدتوا منها واثق ان انتم ضفتوا لنفسكم جديد لما تابعتوا الفيديو ده علشان كده حاولت ان انا اكمل السلسله دي معاكم ومع صوت او حرف مهم جدا هو حرف الاي لاهميته وعلشان التريكس اللي فيه عملنا له فيديو مخصص لوحدي هو مش فيديو طويل ولكن هو مخصص لحرف الاي فقط وده لاهميته وعلشان هو هيفيدنا ان شاء الله تعالى تعال نشوف كده مع بعض كده الصوت ده هنشتغله ازاي وهنتعامل معاه باني طريقه نبدا كده مع بعض Okay, so the letter E can often be silent at the end of a word. I'm pretty sure you know this one already. Like these examples. Clue. Bake. Taste. Clue. Bake. Taste. But that E on the end, although it might be silent, it can affect the pronunciation of the vowel sound before it. Let's look at these examples. Hop. Hope. Sit. Sight. Hid. Hide. Slid. Slide. احس ان حرف الاي لما بيجي في نهايه الكلمه يكون قبليه حرف ساكن وقبل الحرف الساكن ده حرف متحرك هنا الحرف المتحرك ده بيسموه لونج فاول اللي هو ايه اللي هو صوت متحرك طويل يعني ما قلتش هوب ده قلنا هوب طيب ما قلناش سيت قلنا سايت ما قلناش هيد قلنا هايد ما قلناش سليد قلنا سلايد يبقى الاي لما يكون في اخر الكلمه قبليها حرف ساكن واحد وقبل الحرف الساكن الواحد ده حرف متحرك واحد الحرف المتحرك الواحد ده بيتنطق كانه في A B C يعني الاوف او في بيتن او الاي اي سايت هايد سلايد So see how the e at the end although it's not pronounced is affecting the vowel sound before it it makes it longer So hid i becomes hide i but if the e is the final letter in the word but it's the only vowel sound then it needs to be pronounced like in these examples he she we e can also be silent at the end of past tense regular verbs مهم. which all end in ed right but they're not always pronounced like it is in wanted so you can hear the ed sound there id id wanted it's its own syllable but a lot of the time that e isn't pronounced looked asked played Baked, wrapped. Now they could be a little bit tricky, so let's do it again. Looked, asked, played, baked, wrapped. End of a word. I'm pretty sure you know this can often be silent at the end of a word. I'm pretty sure you know this one already. Like these examples. Clue, bake, taste. Clue, bake, taste. But that E on the end, although it might be silent, it can affect the pronunciation of the vowel sound before it. Let's look at these examples. Hop. 
hope, sit, sight, hid, hide, slid, slide. So see how the E at the end, although it's not pronounced, is affecting the vowel sound before it. It makes it longer. So hid, I, becomes hide, I. But if the E is the final letter in the word, but it's the only vowel sound, then it needs to be pronounced. Like in these examples. He, she, we. E can also be silent at the end of past tense regular verbs, which all end in ed, right? But they're not always pronounced like it is in wanted. So you can hear the ed sound there. Ed, ed, wanted. It's its own syllable. But a lot of the time, that e isn't pronounced looked, asked, played, baked, wrapped. Now they could be a little bit tricky, so let's do it again. Looked, asked, played, baked, wrapped. مهم قوي الصوت ده فنخلي بالنا منه دايما دايما زي ما قلت لكم في الحلقه اللي فاتت هات امثله من عندك حاول تربط الحلقات ببعضها لحد ما نوصل لحد حرف الزد ان شاء الله هتفرق معانا باذن الله تعالى والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته